Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and uh, today we are going to do this <coughs> accumulation Riemann sum practice problem. So let's go ahead and uh, read what the problem says. And this is very similar to a problem that was on an AP test. So, a tank has a height of 15 feet. The area of the horizontal cross section of the tank at height h feet is given by the function a, where a of h is measured in square feet. The function a is continuous and decreases as h increases. Selected values for A of H are, in, are given in the table. So we've got this table, and the first thing that I want to point out that's uh, pretty important for us to understand is that it says right here it's continuous and decreases. So the function is going down and it's continuous. So these are just selected values that we've been given right here. So all these are just selected values. So there are values in between. It's continuous. It does, it does not stop. So for part A, use left Riemann sum with three subintervals indicating the data to approximate the volume. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just kind of quickly sketch a graph here on the side of what this thing looks like so we kind of get an idea of what's happening. So let's put some of these points, and they don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exact. Just It's just an estimate. The first one is 0 and 60.2 right up here. The second one is at 5, and we are at 22.4. We'll just estimate it to be right there. The next one is at 9, and then 7.1. Again, remember, these don't have to be perfect. And the last one is at 15 with 3.8 right there. Okay, so since we are doing left Riemann sums, I'm going to start from the left and make my rectangle. Start from the left and make my rectangle. Start from the left and make my rectangle. Now remember, this is a continuous curve, and it decreases. And they, tell, they told us this in the original problem. So that means this curve would look something like this. Okay, so I'm doing these left Riemann sums to approximate the area, but that's not really the exact area. The exact area would be what's under that curve when I connect them. All right, so now let's take a look here. Um, so we have our left Riemann sum, and we need the volume. The volume is always going to be the integral of the area, right? In this case, it's the area times the height because it's the summations of A of X times your height. So in this case, these are going to be our delta x's times our height, because our height is this area right here that they give us technically. So that's what we got to find basically what I'm trying to say is the area of each one of those rectangles. So the first one has a width of 5, so there's your delta x. So it's going to be 5 times the height, and we're going to use this height right there, which is 60 point. Two. The next one has a width delta x of 4, so that's 4 times its height of 22.4. And the last one will be 6 times its height of 7.1. So I will put these in my calculator. This is a calculator allowed problem. I forgot to say it at the beginning. So I'll put these in my calculator, and actually these you could multiply out, but it's the next part that'll... Uh, Part C, you probably will need our calculator. But in any case, um, this comes out to be 301 plus, this will be 89.6, and then the last one here is 42.6, and you add all these together, that's 433.2 cubic feet. It says indicate the units of measure. So on this one, you need to have those units. So 433.2 cubic feet. Remember, because your area is going to give you feet squared, and the height is feet. Oops. So together, that will be feet cubed. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next problem says, does the approximation in part A represent an overestimate uh, is it an overestimate or underestimate? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so let's take a look. What do we got here? We said there's a continuous curve. Our rectangles are above. So this is a since continuous and decreasing, right? 
left, re left rectangles yield an overestimate. In other words, the rectangles are above, so we'll say larger, than the curve. So you can, if it's an AP test, you could say see pick, right? So see the picture right there. It shows us that here's my left rectangles. They are above the actual curve, what it would be, so I'm going to get an overestimate. All right, moving on to part C. Let's take a look. In square feet, the area in square feet of the horizontal cross section of, at height h is modeled by the function given by that. Based on this model, find the volume of the tank and indicate the units of the measure. So this is another area this time, and it's kind of expressing it a little bit differently. So we are told that this is this function right here is an area, and we need to find a volume. What do we always say? The volume is the integral of the area. So the volume will be the integral of this f of h um, from 0 to the 15 in my table. Right here in the table, it shows me that we've got to go to 15, from 0 to 15. So that's what I'm going to do. And don't forget, you need your dh right there. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 15 of 60.2 divided by e to the point 2h plus h times dh. All right, so what do we got here? We are going to use this uh, on our calculators, right? And you're going to go fn, int, and put in the integral from 0 to 15, and you will get a final answer of 133.70. Nine five cubic feet. Indicate the units of measure. I did cubic feet. We are all set. All right, moving on to the last problem here. Water is pumped into into the tank when the height of the water is six feet. The height is increasing at a rate of point two five foot per minute. Increasing. Hmm. Okay. Let's quickly write down what we know. This is a rate, and it's the and it's a rate for the height that's increasing. So this right here is a dh dt, right? That we know that right away. That's a rate. So, okay. Uh, using the model from part C, which was our formula, f of h equals point sixty point two over e to the point two h plus h. Find the rate at which the volume of the water is changing with respect to time when the height of the water is 6 feet. So now we need the volume, the change, the rate at which the volume of the water is changing with respect to time. So this is a dv dt. This is what we need. This is what we need right there. When the height of the water is 6 feet, indicate the units of measure. So let's set up what I know. I know that the volume is going to be the integral from 0 to h of this f of h dh, right? That's what I just did up above right here. But we're using 0 to h because our h is different now. It's going to be 6. But I'm keeping it general. But I need a derivative here because I need a dv, correct? So if I take a look at this and take the derivative of this, this is going to be dv dh will be d dh, the integral from 0 to h of f of h dh. And this is just simply ftc. So this will give me, because those will go away, and dv, the dh, will just be this f of h value that I'm looking for. But that's not what I need. I need dv dt. Well, how do I get dv dt? Let's take a look on the side here. And since I need this dv dt, I can say 
dv dh, right, which is what I'm finding right here, and multiply this by the dh dt, the dh's will go away, and I'll be left with dv dt. It's just simple uh, canceling out of the units or the variables there. Um, so that's what I need to do. So basically, I need to take this f of h answer right here for dv dh times my dh dt that they gave me right over here. So dv dt will be, all right, f of h, this will be f of 6, and that answer comes out to be 6.45194. So that times the 0.25 that we have over here would give me a value of 1.614785 and that would be cubic feet per minute because it says indicate the units of measure and we have a change of volume with, change, with respect to time so it'll be cubic feet per minute. So hopefully this helped. Um, this is a good problem to practice uh, part D is kind of a little weird. You got to think of it and you got to go back to the basics on what happens right here. So uh, good luck, study hard, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. See you soon.